I'm so glad that you guys are hanging out with me today. I am gonna be making three easy summer snacks that when I tell you they're so simple to make, they all take about five ingredients or less. And two of them, it's just popping them in the freezer. But when I tell you they're so yummy, I've been making them forever, for years. So the first snack that we're gonna make is yogurt bark. What's so wonderful about this recipe is that you can customize this to what you like. The toppings are endless. I'm gonna make just a simple yogurt bark, but if you like to add different kind of nuts, pieces of chocolate, honey, agave, whatever you like, you can do it because this is literally, you can make this with your eyes closed. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients that I'm gonna be using, but again, please add whatever ingredients you like because I almost bought pistachios, but I didn't. So let me go ahead and show you the ingredients that we're gonna be working with on this first recipe. Okay, here is what we're working with. I bought these fresh berries yesterday from the farmer's market, and let me tell you guys, they are so sweet. That's a big plus when you buy produce from the farmer's market. So if you haven't watched that video, Go click on it because it was a nice, nice day at the farmer's market yesterday. We're also gonna be um, using sliced almonds. I'm gonna sweeten my yogurt with some honey. A lot of people use maple syrup as well, or you can even use agave. Just find a natural sweetener. I have some vanilla, and I have some vanilla Greek yogurt. Now, I have seen in previous recipes that Greek yogurt works the best, but um, again, use whatever yogurt you like, but I'm gonna go with the Greek yogurt. And this is literally it, guys. This is all that we're gonna need for recipe number one. And it is that simple. So first, we're gonna go ahead and wash the berries. So let's go ahead and start doing that now. That way we have fresh, clean fruit to eat. Okay, so now let me tell you how simple this is. Get yourself a nice little bowl. We're gonna dump some yogurt in here, drizzle some vanilla, drizzle, drizzle some honey. Then we're just gonna go ahead and mix everything. And then we're gonna get a um, cookie sheet, lay some parchment paper, and we're gonna smear our yogurt onto the cookie sheet. So that's it, and then we're gonna cut up our berries, sprinkle them on top, and sprinkle some sliced almonds. And that is it, that is the extent of this recipe, and then we're gonna stick it in the freezer. Once the yogurt is nicely frozen, it's all frozen, we're gonna take it out and break it up. And it's that simple, that's it. And then when you're hungry, you want a snack in the evenings or throughout the day, all you gotta do is take a piece of yogurt park and enjoy. And then that way you're eating something healthy. You're eating your yogurts, your fruits, your nuts. You have a little bit of raw honey in there. So that is it. And I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. So I'm gonna go get to mixing all my ingredients so we can go ahead and lay it out on the um, cookie sheet. And these three recipes are all five ingredients or less. So it doesn't take much time out of your day. You can make them and enjoy them all summer long. So let's get to combining all of our ingredients.
jump to recipe number two and it's similar to this recipe but what we're going to create is berry chocolate covered clusters and then we're going to sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on top because sea salt and chocolate for me best combination ever the salt kind of just brings out the chocolate a little bit more i don't know it's just a con there's something with the whole sea salt and chocolate combo that i absolutely love and if you don't not have to add the salt on the top but i do recommend that you do so so i'm going to combine both of those berries right now well actually just chop them up and then we're going to go ahead and put them right back in the same bowl that i used prior add a little bit of yogurt but we don't want to add too much yogurt because um what i want to do is just add enough yogurt to hold the the clusters together and i'm actually going to just chop the um strawberries not so much berries because i want when you bite into that berry cluster that you get that burst of the blueberries so it's just the strawberries that i'm going to go ahead and chop a little bit more fine so let's get to that now Now what we're gonna do is get another baking sheet put parchment paper in there and we're gonna put little, uh, a little dollop of the berry mixture. Probably make, hopefully that makes about a good six. And we're gonna stick that in the freezer and when that's nicely frozen, we're gonna take it out of the freezer and then melt some chocolate, dip it in the, uh, dip the berry cluster in the chocolate and then top it off with a little bit of sea salt on top. So. We're going to go ahead and do that now and then stick this guy in the freezer and then we'll jump to recipe number three. While the berry clusters are in the freezer, um, you know, getting nice and frozen and nice and chilled, we are gonna melt the chocolate that we're gonna be using to dip the berry clusters in. This brand here, Baker's Dipping Chocolate, is my absolute favorite chocolate to dip strawberries, anything frozen. I have been using this for years because one of my favorites, and my mother knows this, everybody knows this, one of my favorite, favorite little treats are chocolate covered strawberries i can eat probably like 10 of them my stomach will hurt but love it so um i am going to go ahead and heat this chocolate up and then the berry cluster should be frozen enough so we can dip it sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on top and pop it right back in the freezer so that is what we're going to do so i'm going to get started on melting this chocolate And I know what I did wrong because I typically make the clusters a little smaller and I got a little carried away, made bigger clusters so they didn't fit in the little container. So note to self, make sure clusters are small that we can, they fit in the little chocolate container and you can dip it very easily, but they're in the freezer. I cannot wait to try them. It's all, I, it, they're just so, so good. To me, there's no better combo than chocolate and berries. My fave. So our last and final recipe, we, I actually have not made this before. So we're making this together for the first time. I saw this on TikTok and it was a peach turnover tart. Very simple. All you need is puff pastry, peaches, honey, and almonds. So let me show you the puff pastry that I bought at the grocery store. That way, if you're wanting to know which one to buy, 
you know which one you need to pick up. So let me show you the ingredients. It's as simple as that, honey, almond, peaches, and the puff pastry. And this comes with two sheets. So I think it'll be more than enough. And I'm just gonna make probably, mm, probably four pastries. That way I can have one, the husband can have one and our boy can have one. And then the leftover one will be for moi. I have a horrible sweet tooth, so I need an extra one for later in the week. <laughs> so first thing we're gonna do is slice up the peaches, roll out the dough, and then I'll show you how to layer it on the cookie sheet. Just again, lay another sheet of parchment paper, and we're gonna go ahead and build the little puff, peach puff pastry tart, but it is so, so simple. And again, once we assemble this and stick it in the oven to bake, we're gonna check on the yogurt bar and also on the, chocolate cover uh, berries. I cannot wait to take them out the freezer and give it a little try. And then I'm really excited about trying this little um, peach to, uh, turnover tart. So let's go ahead and try this recipe out. Okay guys, as you can see, the peach tarts, turnovers, whatever you wanna call them, are done. I just dusted them slightly with a little bit of powdered sugar and I cannot wait to taste them because they look so, so good. I'm about to pull out the yogurt bark and the chocolate covered strawberries so we can give those a taste test and I'm gonna call my sous chef that I live with, that I'm married to, so we can go ahead and do a taste test of all three and enjoy these summer snacks that I have whipped up in our kitchen and they're so easy. Take advantage of the fresh produce, shop in season. And right now, peaches and berries, there's so many desserts, cakes, healthy snacks that you can whip up in your kitchen that you can enjoy all summer long. And that is what I'm taking advantage of. So I'm about to go ahead and grab the um, yogurt bark and the chocolate covered berries out the freezer so we can do a taste test because I cannot wait. Guys, here we have the susha ready. So we're gonna we're about to we're gonna be on a sugar overload with all these snacks. So we're probably gonna share a piece together because we still need to eat dinner, and I don't want to be on a sugar high before dinner. So which one do you want to try first? The yogurt bark? This yogurt bark? Okay. So grab one of those pieces and let's give it a try. I'm gonna let you try first. It legit tastes like yogurt. Like ice cream. Like <clears throat> excuse me. Like frozen yogurt. Mmm. So good. And this here, break it up in little pieces, put it in an airtight container or a Ziploc bag. When you're craving something sweet, just pull it out of the um, freezer and it is guilty pleasure free. Look at him, he's already on his second piece. Second one is I wish I would have made them smaller, but I think I got carried away because I was filming for our lovely YouTube family. <laughs> All right. Let's take a bite because we're not going to be able to eat this. This is just too big. Here, you take a bite first. I always get food on my face and he's trying to clean. I eat like a five-year-old. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up! Real good. 
cold. The yellow bark is good, but I'm sorry, chocolate. Mm. We are chocolate lovers. Good. Okay. Oh god, that is so good. Legit good. Good. In case you haven't heard me, y'all need to make that. It is so good. Is it good? <laughs> okay. Now this is the one that I have been dying to try because this is from TikTok and it looks so good. So he's going to be the first one to try. I wish, very good. We'll make like this again. I wish I would have added more peaches on top. He's so greedy. Oh my God. <laughs> Give me a napkin, I'm so messy. Okay, out of all three, which one do is the winner for you? Chocolate strawberries. The chocolate covered berry cluster guy. Yogurt bark is good, it's always good, but there's something about chocolate. You cannot go wrong with chocolate. As he's eating more in the background. Mind you, we need to eat dinner later. But anyways, okay. Guys, try these recipes. They're so, so easy. All three of them, five ingredients or less. I will have everything linked in my description box in case you guys wanna whip these little summer snacks up in your kitchen. And I am going to close out this cooking vlog. As always, guys, thank you so, so, so much for hanging out with me. I enjoy cooking for you. I can't wait to see you on the next video. Bye, guys.